Good morning, miracle workers. We are on lesson 123 with the Course in Miracles. Today's lesson is all about gratitude. So I thank my father for his gifts to me. Today, let us be thankful. We have come to gentler pathways and to smoother roads. There's no thought of turning back and no implacable resistance to the truth. A bit of wavering remains, some small objectives and a little hesitation, but you can well be grateful for your gains, which are far greater than you even realize. So this is 123 and it's saying like, you know, after all this practice that we've been through today, like you should be grateful. We could be grateful for all of the gains that we made. And sometimes it's hard to see our gains and we keep looking towards the horizon thinking I'm never going to get there. But today we want to look at the ways that we have made great strides. So a day devoted now to gratitude will add the benefit of some insights into the real extent of all the gains which you have made, the gifts that you have received. Be glad today in loving thankfulness. Your father has not left you to yourself nor let you wander in the darkness alone. So that's the good news. Like, you know, we thought, oh, I'm alone. I don't know how to, what to do, where to go, what to say. And it's like, no way, be grateful because God is never left you and is continuing to show you everything your you god has never left you be grateful he has saved you from the self you thought you made to take the place of him and his creation give him thanks today so how can we give radical thanks we don't want to just give thanks for our cup of coffee we want to give thanks for the hands that picked the beans we want to give thanks for oh, oh my gosh coffee my husband just gave me a cup of coffee that was so cool that was so cool we want to be thanks for the guy who made the coffee, for the person who planted the seeds, for the soil that held it, for the sun that shined on it. We want to give thanks for everything. We want to give radical, radical thanks. And when we do, we will be blessed. That was not planned. <laughs> okay, okay, so it says, give thanks that he will, that he has not abandoned you. Uh, that his love, that his love forever will remain shining on you forever without change. Give thanks as well that you are changeless for the son he loves is changeless as himself. Be grateful you are saved. Be glad that you have a function in salvation to fulfill. Be thankful that your value far transcends your meager gifts and pretty and petty judgments of the one whom God established as his son. So please do not take your own word for who you are. Like take God's word for who you are. If it's up to you, you'll think I'm bad, I'm broken, I'm incomplete. Nobody ever brings me a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> you might be thinking that. Don't think that. Think I am so blessed. Think of all the ways that you've been blessed. You've been given a thousand reasons to be grateful. And in the Course of Miracles, it says we deny them all. So don't deny them. Give thanks for every little thing and every little, little, little thing. Practice radical gratitude. Today in gratitude, we lift our hearts above despair and raise our thankful eyes, no longer looking downward to the dust. We sing the song of thankfulness today in honor of the self that God has willed to be our true identity in him. Today we smile on everyone we see and we walk with lightened footsteps and we do what is appointed us to do. We do not go alone. And we give thanks that in our solitude, a friend has come to speak the saving word of God to us. And thanks to you for listening to him. His word is soundless if it not be heard. In thanking him, the thanks are yours as well. An unheard message will not save the world. However mighty be the voice that speaks. However loving may, be the, me may the message be. So there's a voice that came within into your illusion of solitude and said, I love you, and said, I am, you are here for a purpose, and said, I walk with you every step of the way. And in your willingness to hear that voice, uh, that message is heard, and that message is extended, not just to you, but to everyone you come in contact with, as you smile on everyone today, as you give blessings to everyone you pass. Thanks be to you, to you, you, that's not this me. This is you. I'm reading it to you. So it must be you. <laughs> so thanks be to you. For you became the messenger who brings his voice with you and let it echo round and round the world. Receive the thanks of God today and you give thanks to him for he would offer you the thanks you give. 
since he receives your gifts in loving gratitude and gives them back a thousand and a hundred thousand more than they were given. So as you continue to give thanks to God, the thanks of God, the thanks just continues to ripple back. Remember that what we give out returns to us multiplied abundantly. And in the song of prayer, remember it says a true prayer is forgetting what it is you want. And that true prayer is just a song that's sung between Creator and the Son. That is just a song of gratitude. And it sounds like, thank you, God. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Maureen. Or fill in your name. But that's what it sounds like. <laughs> um, so that's the good news. He will bless your gifts by sharing them with you, and so they grow in power and in strength until they fill the world with gladness and with gratitude. Receive his thanks and offer yours to him for 50 minutes twice a day, and you will realize to whom you offer thanks and whom he thanks as you are thanking him. This holy half an hour given him will be returned to you in terms of years for every second. Power to save the world, eons more quickly for your thanks to him. So 50 minutes twice today. You can break them up or put them together in 30 minutes, whatever, however you want to do it. But just sit in gratitude and go through the Rolodex of your gratitude. Just be like, thank you, God, for everything that you can think of. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. This will lift your vibration and cause you to be a more open channel to receive greater blessings. Receive his thanks and you will understand how lovingly he holds you in his mind and how deep and limitless his care for you. How perfect is his gratitude to you. Remember hourly to thank him and give him thanks for everything he gave his son, for everything he gave his daughter, that he may rise above the world, that she may rise above the world, remembering their father and themselves. So that is the good news today. What do you say? Thank you. That's what we say today. That's the new song. It says to sing a song of thankfulness. I don't know what the words are, but I'm sure there's something like thank you. Thanks for the coffee. Hmm. Thanks for practicing with me today. Thanks for thankfulness. Thanks for all of our blessings. Thanks for staying the course. Thank you. You are so very loved. You are so very held in God's grace. Give thanks for that. And you will awaken to it in a greater way than ever before. I witness that to you. And I witness that for God. Namaste.